Hey guys, welcome to Miami Recipes. Do you have some leftover rice and don't know what to cook today? Or don't have time to cook? Stop worrying because I am going to show you an easiest way to prepare an instant mix that can be mixed with rice and it would give sweet and tangy taste. It tastes awesome, an extremely popular breakfast recipe in South India. This is a famous Iyengar dish served in temples as prasadam. It is none other than puliyogre. Yes, that's right. Puliyogre powder, pulihora, puliyodarai or tamarind rice and there are some more names to it. You can get this instant puliyogre mix in any food stores but I prefer homemade as it tastes better and hygienic. Now there are many versions of this instant puliyogre mix but I'll prepare my version of puliyogre powder. Alright, let's look at the ingredients. Okay, let's get going. Take a small bowl and add a chunk of tamarind equivalent to a gooseberry size. Now I'm going to pour some water and soak them for about 10 minutes and in the meantime I'm going to dry roast some of the ingredients. So I have a pan on medium flame for some time. Now I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of chana dal which is Bengal gram, 1 teaspoon of urad dal which is split black gram and half a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. Dry roast them until they are light brown in color. Okay, it is done. So I'm going to take them out and transfer into a plate. Now in the same pan, I will add 1 teaspoon of coriander seeds, half a teaspoon of black pepper corns, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds and 1 teaspoon of sesame seeds. I'm going to fry them for a minute. And into this, I will add 6 dry red chilies, 2 Kashmiri red chilies, 2 tablespoons of grated coconut and I'm going to roast them for a minute. Okay, it is done. So I'm going to take them out and transfer into the same plate. Now I'm going to allow them to cool for some time. Alright, I'm going to put all these roasted ingredients into a blender and I'll blend them to make a coarse powder. And that's it. Puliyogre powder is ready and I'm going to transfer it to a bowl. Now you can store this Puliyogre powder in an airtight container for 2-3 to three weeks. Now let me show you how to make Puliyogre paste. So I'm going to take soaked tamarind chunk and squeeze them a little hard to get the juice out of it. I'm going to throw off the tamarind pulp which will have nothing but fiber in it. And back to the pan add 4 tablespoons of cooking oil and let's heat it for some time. Add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds and I'm going to allow them to crackle a little bit. And then I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of ground nuts, 1 tablespoon of chana dal which is Bengal gram, quarter teaspoon of asafoetida which is hing, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, 2 Kashmiri red chilies and some curry leaves. Okay, I'll fry them for a minute. Now I'm going to add my puliyogre powder and mix it well. And I'll add my tamarind juice into this. Okay, we'll mix it well. And if required, add little water to get the consistency of a paste. I will add salt as per taste and you can add a little bit of jaggery but it is optional so I'm not going to add any jaggery into this. Okay, we'll mix it well and cook it for 2 minutes. You can see that the oil has come out so it means our puliyogre paste is ready. Now I'm going to take some of it and transfer it to a bowl. Now in the same pan, I will add some cooked rice and mix it with the puliyogre paste. Alright, the puliyogre rice is ready to be served. I hope you like this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.